The South Sudan government says it is committed to reforms being proposed by an economic conference currently underway in the capital Juba to try and stabilize the economy. Now, the economic convergence is meant to recommend more transparency in the government's financial transactions. A five-day economic conference is being held to try and address the unfolding economic challenges in the East African nation. Let's have more details of that in this report. South Sudan is plagued by hyperinflation. The country is still feeling the effects of the civil war, which ended in 2018. A five-day economic conference is being held to try and address the economic challenges. It has brought together many economies, both from within the country and the diaspora. One of the main challenges is insecurity, with some armed groups opposed to the current peace arrangements. A comprehensive approach will be required, including dealing with causes of conflict, ensuring improved security within communities, and improving access to conflict resolution systems and justice. Every month, South Sudan's government earns money from the sale of crude oil, but just how much it receives is not revealed to the public. The economy depends on oil to fund more than 90% of its budget. The government now promises to embark on reforms that will promote transparency. President Salva Kiir has appointed four finance ministers in the past two and a half years to try and fix the country's economy. Over the years, South Sudan has turned to the International Monetary Fund for help. The lender has injected more than $500 million. Global institutions are expected to play a part in finding solutions. Partnership with international organizations, including the United Nations agencies, is pivotal in contributing to the tools and resources needed to undertake critical economic reforms in South Sudan. The conference faces huge challenges. Corruption has worsened an already dire economic situation and the majority of people cannot now afford basic goods. Solving those problems will be the key to improving the lives of ordinary citizens. Patrick Oyet, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.